this is the first one of these that I've I'm actually gonna do, but I've been kinda wanting to do it for a while. It's just gonna be me um rambling and talking about things that are either gonna be added to the game, currently on my mind, you know, etc. That kind of stuff. And the one that has really piqued my attention and started this whole thing off is Jagex discussing adding an infinite version to the scythe. Now, this is something <laughs> I'm kind of conflicted on because the Iron Man in me absolutely wants this. I would adore the the corrupted version of the scythe or whatever you're going to call it because in reality I don't really use mine much these days because I, I don't have time to either uh, spend my GP and turn it into blood runes or craft blood runes. Like if I if I get on and play, I want to play. But that's like that's a me problem, you know. But if they gave me a way to make it infinite and not have to charge it, I would use it everywhere. Which would be it would be crazy, right? I could just I could just start swinging. It'd be no problem. But. <laughs> What is the cost you incur with that? Like, what would be a reasonable price? Now, if we compare this to the both, all right, which, you know, it's not going to be a one-to-one, -one, but just like looking at it, the cost of corrupting the Bofa is 21 mil, which is 17% of the enhanced weapon seed itself, right? And it's 2,000 shards. Now, like, if we go... 2,000, you know, 2,000 shards to corrupt the both. Oh, 2,000 vials of blood to corrupt the scythe and make it infinite. It'd be 32 million vials and 120-ish mil in bloods. So it'd be 600k blood. So 150 overall, 150 mil, which is, you know, 40% of the price of the scythe. For me, I feel like that is pretty fair. But I've been talking to people in my Discord, and some of them have said that they would want it to be even more, which honestly... I would be absolutely fine with, like, if they want to make it 5,000 vials of blood and the equivalent in, in blood runes, that, that'd be cool as well. They can make it an astronomical fee, and I would be absolutely fine with it. I would just like the option, you know? I, I would have no opposed to whatever monetary value they attach to it. Just as long as I have an option, I think it's cool. I, I, I don't like the tedium in the scythe, but when they start talking about the Sang staff, I feel different. I, I don't know whether this is is biased within me, it probably is, but I feel like it's logical. It's like, I've always thought of magic as involving runes and sinking runes, so like having to charge up a Sang staff with blood runes to me makes sense. I feel like that shouldn't have a corrupted version of it. And the same with the, the Shadow, I don't think it should have a corrupted version. Did they mention the Twisted Bow in this? Alright, they didn't mention the Twisted Bow, thank god. Thought they were gonna offer like a <laughs> infinite version of the Twisted Bow, dude. Ah, you put one million dragon arrows in and it's good forever. But that, that's how I feel, like. I feel like the Scythe should have the option. I don't really think they should lower the cost of it, like it should still remain three blood runes per swing, and that's fine with me. The upkeep is whatever, but like you pick and choose where you want to use it. And on a main account, you just buy them off the G. Like, bloods are so cheap at the moment. They're like under 200 GP. It's not a problem. I think that, like, they're also talking about adding blood room packs, which they thought they could alleviate by adding the, the true, the true altar, right? But I think it was very short sighted. I'm glad that they added it because, you know, classical rune crafting options should always be available for every rune in the game. I'm looking at soul runes. Um, but like Shopscape has always been a part and will always be a part of Iron Man. I, I don't understand people that are fighting to take that away. It doesn't hurt you it being in the game. Like I, I, I often see it. It's like if you don't want to do Shopscape, you don't have to do it. You really don't. But then in the past, Jagex have always pushed back about adding blood rune packs because... I can't remember what they said back in the day, but it, you know they said that whatever, whatever reason it was, and it, in my mind it's always been well. What do you expect us to do with this big pile of money on the Iron Man? Am I not meant to have it on an Iron? Like, should I not be spending it on resources? 
that's what it's there for, right? That's what shops are there for. You can you can trade them, you can interact with them, you can buy stuff with them. If you wanted to have that whole like Iron Man standalone crap from the beginning, you wouldn't have included shops from the start. But because you have, you have to you know take that into account. And adding blood room pack packs will definitely help that because, dude. I think people get tedious, uh, like the idea of tedious tasks and effort intertwined. Like it's not difficult to hop worlds and, and buy runes. I just, it's just boring. It sinks time. It doesn't add anything to the experience. It just makes me not want to play the game. <laughs> if they have blood room packs, I'm cool. I think the average price for a blood room for me is like 500 GP anyway, so it's not like I'm getting them for cheap, dude. It's over twice the cost. Like, if I was to buy that, if I was to buy the 600k blood runes for me, it would be 300 mil raw GP. That's so much the crops here, but whatever they come up with, I'll be happy with. It's just interesting to see that they've, like, finally like, actually come up with some, like, I mean, just provided an answer to this, because it, it's been a long-standing issue. The death runes as well would be kind of nice. I've never really had a, a problem with running out of death runes, but, hey, like, they want to add it, why not? It makes sense. They said that they want to improve various scary, skilling methods earlier. I wonder if they're just talking about adding the true, the true soul altar. That'd be real nice, because if there's one thing I I can't stand, it's doing Zaya rune crafting. It's just so slow. I always think when you provide a skilling option, you should have you should have like you know three versions of it. You should have AFK, intermediate, and super intense. And right now for souls, there's just AFK. <laughs> there's, there's nothing beyond that, unless you buy them from the shop, which you know I don't think they're that expensive, like three hundred each. I don't have a, I don't have a shadow, so it's not really a problem. But overall, it, it's cool to see it finally being spoken about. The the I never had a problem with like bloods for getting to ninety nine um ninety nine Slayer, but the second I started using the scythe and the sang, they disappear. Like all, I think I have bought. I don't know, probably over a million and a half, a million and a half blood runes, like easily. Maybe, maybe closer to two million. I don't know. I, I could be way off with that, but I know it's an absolute load. From the normal nightmare grind for Sarnies, like I didn't have to use the scythe there, but the bludgeon sucked. I don't know when they intend on adding this, but. It's just nice to see something finally be done, and I don't really know how everyone else feels on this, especially in the Iron community. I don't know whether I'm way off the mark with this by wanting a corrupted version. But feel free to let me know and disagree with me in the comments, I'm all up for that. Often when I listen to people's rambles, I don't hear them put an opinion out, it'll just be them talking and then asking for an opinion. I want to start a discussion, I want to know. Am I insane in thinking that we should have it? And then not have it for magic? Like the shadow and the sang? It'll be interesting to see what comes of this. There's nothing else really in the blog that I uh, cared about, because, you know, do have 200 mil fire making. <laughs> but yeah, let me know. Peace. Oh my god, I was trying to I was trying to ah! I was trying to pause sound alerts. Oh my god.